quite honestly think that shit's just gonna fly everywhere, so. Yep. Yep. So now I gotta get this oil seal out here, out of the back half of the transmission. And if you recall, I did not pull the entire thing apart because I quite honestly think that shit's just gonna fly everywhere. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. And I am very, very afraid to and have no idea what to expect. And there is no information out there anywhere on these transmissions, YouTube included. So, here's my go at it. Um, I also have to remove this oil seal around the shifter rod here. So, um, Joe showed me a great uh, idea, gave me a great idea on how to remove this, and I'm gonna give that a try since I wanna do my best not to damage the uh, the race here that the the uh, oil seal sits in trick is use a bunch of Self-tapping screws and Once the screws are in there you can then Try to get something under them and start pulling it out now. I've never done this before so <laughs> Yep. 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 Oh, I thought you. I thought you already got that one out. No, I got the one out of the bell housing, which was easy to get out. Yep. because they are not available they do not they do not exist anywhere except for maybe diffsonline.com if you can get a hold of them and convince them to give you the torque specs uh, so I'm gonna start with 33 because that's a number a torque spec that's used a lot on this car so I'm gonna start there okay now I'm gonna put this 
this uh, oil seal in here. And here is the oil seal, part number there. Good to me. Now the drive flange. Oops. I am going to get this gear shift seal out. I'm just going to use a screwdriver for and I just kind of got the screw, screwdriver in there. There's some numbers for you. That is, this is an 11 16 by the way. This is a 36 millimeter socket. That's a big socket. So I say this should be interesting because I have some tape around two pins that have two spacers on the end of them and there's nothing holding them on. It all slides into that hole at the top there, but they all have to be in place when it slides in. And with only two hands, well, maybe four hands, I think it might be possible. Whew. Maybe I should have did this side first because it looks a lot better. Yeah. But, I mean, the other side was just a lot harder. Yep, we're good. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, just a few more things. I gotta put the, this, uh, this is actually the old one, the shifter end link thingamajig. I don't know what, that, what you call that. I have that one of those. Yeah, end, end link thingamajig. Hmm. Shifter end link thingamajig, shifter end link and then I have to I'm gonna put the slave cylinder in just because I want to and the other oil seal that goes in there and the little breather cap. I'm going to take the pin out of that, take out the new one. I didn't realize 
realized that I had a little thingamajiggy in there. Um, this has a little, has a tiny little bushing in it. Otherwise, before, this thing just moved freely and now it, it doesn't. So that is excellent.